Still Alive is a song that uh, means a lot to me and I think could mean a lot to, uh, to a lot of people. I think it's something, no matter what age you are, everyone can relate to it. When I was writing it, I did actually have people in mind for those lyrics. Um, they weren't like so harsh. It did reflect what I was going through at the time. I have a habit of making deals with people that may not be the best deals for me. And I think everyone can relate to it in the way that we all have someone in our life that is telling us that what we're doing is not right. What we're doing is not the right way of going about things. Uh, we're constantly being judged no matter what age we are. You know, I've been in the game since I was 19 and now I'm 29 and I'm still being judged, you know, as a grown ass man. So still alive was my way of saying, look, we're all being judged, but you can say fuck it and just keep doing what you're doing. That was my way of saying it. You wrote it out of spite. Before, there w it felt like I had restriction. And um, that restriction really, really was self-explanatory. Like, the music was not able to do what it could do. I feel like taking on the Andy Gnosis persona isn't even really a persona, it's just an extension of my personality. Taking on Andy Gnosis is something that felt more freeing than uh, limiting. So, you know, it allows me to free myself from preconceived notions that people may have of me, the type of singing I want to do, the type of writing I want to do. Because I tried it with my you know, original name and it didn't work. People were really angry. And I still stand by that music. Still alive. Uh, lyrically, I think it's very straight to the point. Everyone has someone in their life that is constantly judging them telling them that what they're doing is not okay. We, nobody has any place to judge anybody, you know? So Still Alive was my way of saying, look, yes, I am fully aware of where I am in my life, but uh, I don't feel like being judged. And if you're going to judge me, uh, I'm still doing what I love. So I have lyrics like, you know, uh, just know tonight I won't lie in your grave. There isn't room for two. You can continue to judge, but uh, I'm not interested in that life. But no, Still Alive, I think is a really, really, really fucking important song. I think a lot of people need to hear it. I think people of all ages are doing it. My age, younger, older, you know, if it means something to you as well. Um, it's just letting people know I'm not about to let you walk all over me, you know? Uh, it's a really simple message but I think it's one that's overlooked. Thank you so much. My name is Andy Gnosis. Thank you guys so much for having me. I think now I have a, uh, a better understanding of who I am and I'm way more comfortable with who I am. So that brings out a certain persona, I suppose, uh, especially, and it, it leaks into a stage persona that feels uh, in my case, a little more intimate, feels a little more sexual or sensual even. It's something that I wouldn't have done before just under my own name or, you know, I come from America's Got Talent, you know, and the mentality that they drove into my brain was, you know, you have to stay family friendly. And I understood that. But now, years and years later, playing, uh, rock and roll music and all, all types of music. I feel very free. So as Andy Gnosis, I feel that this is my opportunity to 
play rock and roll music and pop music and whatever I want to. Uh, it's fun. It's just fun. It's really, really freeing. And it's sexy. It's fun. It's stupid. <laughs> Almost to a certain degree. Uh, there's no part of me that's trying to reinvent anything. You know, it's just my appreciation for music in general and how it affected me as a person. And hopefully that can affect other people in a very positive way. You know, Hunter here comes from heavy metal, you know, and he and I playing together has affected him in a way that has allowed him to feel very free to uh, other genres that he would not have listened to prior to meeting me. So I think uh, I think it's all just positivity. You know, it's easier said than, than done, but uh, yeah. I think right now uh, it's really, really popular to just be silly and, you know, we have a lot of uh, rock musicians in the business that are successful just doing kind of the bare minimum. And that's not my way of judging. I think, um, I think it's a uh, uh, pretty cool that uh, they've managed to make uh, a career for themselves. I think for Andy Gnosis, it would be a really great uh, game changer, you know, that right now we have, you know, punk rockers, and we have our Avril Lavigne's, we have our Youngbloods, we have our Machine Gun Kelly's, and that's fantastic, you know, it's shaking the music world up, but I do think that there's something a little darker that wants to come out through all of that, and I think Andy Gnosis is the thing to do it. Um, it's just a rock opera. And I'm very excited for the world to hear my rock opera because it's never ending and uh, it's fun, it's beautiful, it's scary, it's daring, it's uh, androgynous and I think it's uh, pushing the limits beyond what anyone is trying to do right now.